Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Box Markets for Monday the 28th of February. Starting off with AFC Energy where it looks as though we might have an opportunity here near the lows uh, with the uh, bear trap uh, that we had from the end of... Uh, well, the end of this month, just uh, last week, uh, below the old January support there at 13.5. Above that, we're looking for hopefully return to initial January resistance at 44, 45 pence plus. The uh, reason for being more confident that there'll be a lasting turnaround here is the bullish divergence line, so the RSI rising uh, against that falling uh, share price. And uh, at least with an end-of-day close above 33.5, that broken uh, November resistance line looking for the mid-40s over the next four to six weeks, something like that. Moving along to a stock which doesn't get much airtime, but uh, here it is today. We've got um, base resources. And uh, looking at this, we've got a rising trend channel from, uh, I suppose, that, was that summer of 2019. Top of the channel, they're going towards 25 pence. That could be hit over the next two to three months if we keep uh, above the floor of the channel here at 16 pence and uh, head hopefully breaking, head up hopefully breaking uh, the uh, one-year resistance around uh, 18, uh, 17, 18 pence, which has been in place and quite sticky over the recent past, but 24, 25 pence over the next two, three months. Possible there at base. Uh, stock which is looking rather better than one might expect in current market conditions is uh, Byzant. Uh, here we've had that sideways shuffle along the 50-day moving average for January, bouncing above the 50-day line now, rising at uh, 0.15 or so, and uh, bull flag either side of the 200-day moving average at 0.18. View here is that above the 50-day line, looking for the um, uh, June resistance line projection as high as 0.27, maybe over the next one to two months uh, as, it, as the shares gradually uh, gather momentum. The momentum provided by that uh, uptrend line in the RSI window, uh, which uh, has just been bounced off around the RSI 48 level, so that uh, could uh, deliver some decent moves over the near term. No such doubts with uh, Ben's Creek, which has been one of the performers of the year to date. Not much competition, perhaps, but um, we gapped up uh, last week, back on uh, Friday, uh, which is quite an achievement, I suppose. Uh, held the gap, and above that uh, gap top at 58 pence, looking for... Uh, an eventual target here over the next uh, maybe two to three months as high as 90 or 95 pence, which seems rather ambitious, but uh, that's where the rising trend channel is from back uh, at the beginning of the year. So let's see if 58 pence holds and uh, we can push higher for bends over the near term. Another big winner so far this year has been uh, Cloudbreak, uh, which uh, hopefully I will get the right chart up there. Uh, here we've had... Um, the uh, massive move that up from uh, what was it two pence to uh, around twelve and a half. Uh, the levels here were was basically five pence, nine pence, and then um, the, obviously the peak at twelve and three quarters, and then heading up to the top of that rising trend channel from the end of November as high as seventeen pence, so above nine. Uh, looking for a retest of uh, twelve and a half or so, but a big picture target maybe over the next uh, two to three months as high as. 17 pence at the top of the late 2021 price channel so watch out for that on to eq tech uh, which um, is a bit like afc energy i suppose at the moment we've got a uh, rising uh, trend line in the rsi window so the bear trap uh, uh, reversal uh, also had a gap close which was on friday so we gapped down below uh, the prevailing support there at 0 0.77 then closed above it on friday so that's another extra signal there and uh, obviously we've broken that line of resistance there uh, from back in january around uh, 0.82 so above 0.82 looking for a retest of the uh, low one pence area so maybe up to february resistance around 1.1 pence as soon as the end of next month so uh, looking uh, reasonably well set there for a recovery off the lows on to geiger counter which underlines the expectation that um uh, non-gas energy sources might come back into fashion. Uh, here we've got uh, a situation where the shares have broken that line of resistance and the 200-day moving average around uh, 48 pence uh, on Friday. And above that, we're looking for at least the January resistance at 59 pence over the next couple of weeks or so and uh, can also already start uh, to dare to dream of a retest of November resistance at 72 pence 
maybe by the end of next month if we get a decent uh, bit of momentum behind the situation. The fact that the uh, 50 and 200 day moving averages are both rising is a definite plus at the moment. Stock which has been in a bull trend for quite a while, um, Hurricane Energy, um, just wanted to cover this again. Uh, 8.3 pence is the resistance line there. We need an end of day close above that uh, to deliver a fresh leg to the upside and 12 to 12 and a half pence at that August resistance line projection, but maybe wait for 8.3 pence to be broken, especially in current market conditions. I guess hasn't been around here for quite a while, but uh, here it is now. A great break of that, uh, I suppose it's a cup and handle really, that uh, saucer shape uh, that we've got or we've had since uh, the end of September. Gapped higher on Friday, broke resistance and the um, neckline resistance around 19 pence today by quite a, a margin. And uh, we're looking towards 32 pence over the next month or so, which is a an April 2021 resistance line projection. So looking pretty strong there and backed by that uptrend line in the RSI window, which uh, should uh, ensure that we have decent momentum over and up and above the two recent gaps to the upside that we've had for the share. So that looks uh, pretty well set in stone. Moving along to um, i3 Energy, which has been a an oasis of uh, stability over the recent past. And in fact, we're going to uh, new highs here. I've been uh, calling uh, 28 pence uh, uh, for quite a while. In fact, now that resistance line there from the early part of last year is heading through the 30 pence level. So 31 pence possible, maybe as soon as the end of next month, and especially while we hold above uh, recent support around 18 to 19 pence. So that's a pretty impressive situation. It looks as though momentum is gathering there as well, which is always a good thing to see. On to Petro Matad, which uh, covered quite recently, but a uh, bit of fun here with the uh, bear trap rebound that we've had below three and three quarters, above above three and three quarters, and the 50-day moving average. Looking for the uh, that, that line of resistance from back in November. If I can uh, get it uh, drawn correctly, that's heading towards six pence. And that could be seen as soon as the end of next month, while we hold above three and three quarter pence and uh, the um, latest bear trap gap reversal. We had a gap down on Friday, in fact, so we've closed that gap and end of day close above four pence would be a gap close by signal and uh, hopefully ensure six pence is on its way in a matter of weeks. Uh, Nostra Terra, a stock which um, maybe doesn't produce as much uh, oil as uh, some of the biggies, but uh, Gapped up today and uh, heading uh, ever closer to the top of that broadening triangle from April, as high as 0.58. Maybe that could be seen over the course of March. Upside valid while we hold above the 200-day line at 0.41, and ideally there's no mid-close uh, back below 0.45, which was the last support for the shares last week. Good to see uh, Pure Gold. Uh, when we finish off with the Pure Gold, uh, starting to stretch out nicely. We've got a rising 50-day moving average. We're shuffling uh, above that at the moment as well. So all we need now really is an end-of-day close above the uh, existing February resistance. It's 47p. We can do that. It should be up to 60s or the low 60s, which is the 200-day moving average and also that line of resistance from October. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.